Good morning, Leeds United fans. Hope you're all doing fantastically well. It is Connor here. We are back with another episode on the One Leeds fan channel. We are back with another match day. Leeds United heading up to Teesside to take on Middlesbrough. Big game, huge game in the Leeds United season calendar as... Listen, the objective up there is to win and nothing less. Nine points minimum for some fans. Some fans some fans will take seven points out of the next three, but there is no doubt about it that Leeds United have to increase that decimal level when it comes to, that decibel level, I should say, when it comes to a performance, which has been nothing short of absent over the past six game weeks, really. Not good enough for most fans, not good enough for anyone, which essentially sees Leeds United in a bit of a predicament right now, in a bit of a an issue-ridden state where we just don't really have the capability. It feels at this moment in time to get to that next level, but these nine days have all been down. You know, The focus should have been down to Daniel Farker and a bit of pragmatism, a bit of man management. So let's see what Leeds United comes out tonight. But before we start the video, everybody, please make sure you like, you comment, you're subscribing. Please make sure you're having a look at least at the merch. It's well worth it, everybody. Link in the description below. Our collab with Back4 X1 Leads. Also, make sure you're checking out the Patreon account as well, which you can do so by heading over to www.patreon.com slash one leads fan channel or by hitting the link in the description below. You can also become a YouTube member like Tim, like Steve, like Bo, like many, many others, everybody. Make sure you do that by hitting the join button. All proceeds go towards helping the channel. But without any further ado, what I would like to start this morning with is an Ethan Ampadu rallying call. That gets me right in the mood. And let me just read to you what um, the future captain of Leeds United has just said. He said, it's very exciting. I've been in years where I've been trying to avoid relegation. So this is an exciting pressure, one that we are all working hard to achieve. And it's interesting, really, because when you look at the perspective of Ethan Amper, who's been at Spezia, Venezia, Sheffield United, he's been involved in three relegations. He's never experienced this before, especially at a first team level actually gunning for promotion, actually being at the right side of the table, the side of the table where promotion is the end goal slash dream. So it's a very different experience. And you look throughout this Leeds United side, is there experience with promotion at all? Look, Ipswich it is League One. Of course it is, contextualise that. However, it is still promotion. And that's something we have to take into consideration. It is still promotion. So that a lot of that a lot of that crew have experienced that yesterday, as has uh, yesterday in yesteryear, I should say, last season, as has Kieran McKenna. You know, so Daniel Farker has experienced the promotion and he's done it twice. So that experience has to be put on even players like Ethan Ampadu. You've got your Coopers in there, you've got your Bamford, you've got your Melier, who've done it from the championship before, your Pascal Strauchs. This should be more than enough to help a lot of the other lads in this squad, especially Ampu, you know, he's only 22, but he still has those captain tendencies, which which really help when it comes to our mentality as supporters, uh, getting the, the the overall squad galvanised for, for these last three games. We want to give their fans what they truly deserve. <clears throat> and that starts on Monday night against Borough. So hopefully Bill can put in a good word for us, preparation for that game, and we'll see what happens after that, says Ethan. So obviously we know as well, but uh, Luke Ayling, who's been decent, he's been a decent standing really for Borough at right back. I think a lot of the Borough fans would say that and they've all been happy with his performance level so far. On the, on the contrary, you've got Sam Greenwood who's there. A lot of Borough fans not happy with his contribution. You know, he's completely gone off the boil. As we've always said with Sam Greenwood, we don't really think he's good enough. I don't personally think he's good enough championship level, but, you know, some some some... Leeds fans will tell you that he's not good enough for, for, for you know, just, just Leeds United at the, this level of the championship. Um, so then we, we've, we've, we've heard, we've heard from a little bit of Ethan Ampadu, but now Luke Ayling has also given a bit of a prediction. So the Borough on low man said, the, it's time for these boys to get, to show what they can do. They're a great team and I'm pretty sure they'll get promoted. Okay, it's still a little bit of camaraderie, camaraderie a bit awkward for Luke Ayling, especially when he's, in the Luke Ale in Ale in Bar, uh, <laughs> just outside the stadium, and he's singing March on together when he's a Borough player. Very, uh, very interesting indeed. Uh, Willie also uh, a lot of news has come to the service today about his potential fee when it comes to the summer months. It looks like Leeds United are going to be looking 25, 30 million quid for the Italians. 
Signature. Obviously, we don't want to lose Willian on, so he's still uh, still got a lot of Premier League interest, according to, to many sources. But how many teams are going to play, pay that amount of money for him? You know, at Leeds are obviously going to have to reduce that fee if they remain in the Championship. But if they get up to the Premier League, I think it's going to be difficult for teams to buy Willian on. So if teams are going to look at Willian on, so I think for that fee, it's going to be teams in Europe, but then it's going to be really instalment based because many teams in Europe, especially Serie A, can't afford that sort of money. So Leeds United's valuation is going to price a lot of teams out. But yeah, 25 to 30 million. Apparently that is what Leeds are looking for. That's what we're looking for this season. So why should that reduce? I guess, well, it's going to depend on the league uh, sort of position um, going, going forward. Patrick Bamford, I think he's going to return tonight. I think he's going to return tonight. I think we're going to see the return of Mr. Bamford. I think uh, we're going to see Daniel Farker bringing out Joel Perot, who I don't think put any statement in for him begin at starting the game. I don't think there was any reason for him to start the game, but the manager wanted wanted him to do so. Um, so obviously he started this game Pre recently. He's not performed at all, in my opinion. And I think we're going to see Patrick Bamford return. Is there a little bit of a, a, a sort of, story arc there in terms of Borough potentially yeah I do think that's sort of sailed that ship of him you know not really liking the Borough fans but listen maybe that niggle will always remain there who knows but I think Farker's selection is going to be huge tonight there's a lot of people unfortunately on the video last night who didn't listen to what I was saying when I say a lot of people I think there's a minority who just don't listen anyway and listen to a snippet but I was trying to give two sides of the coin last night why we should still be a little bit more motivated for the running then then you know we we let out on this channel when it comes to the frustration with the manager the players how the, the mentality has gone off the face of a cliff but there should still be hope the, the, the squad is good enough more than good enough and if he's able to get that next level out of them if he's still able to get the the team that we've seen previously then this team is more than good enough. But will Farker do that? Will the team be able to galvanise that they've gal like they've galvanised before? I'm, I'm not too sure. I'll be brutally honest with you guys. But Farker's had nine days to work with them now. So let's wait and see what happens. It's a massive game for him tonight, a massive game for Leeds United. I do think if they lose, they're in a big, big pile of you-know-what. I don't think... If they lose tonight, I think it is going to be playoffs, personally. But if they win tonight... It, you know, it, it just reshapes the whole final three games. So let me let, let, let me know what you guys think in the conversation below. Are Leeds going to win this game? What's your score prediction? What's your lineup? Does Bamford come back in? What happens? Let us know, everybody, in the comment section below. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs>